Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm Josh and today we are going to be doing a video that a number of you have requested um, over the last few months, but specifically this week I got two emails from Tommy and from Eric, both of whom have brand new cars. Tommy just bought a new Prius and Eric just picked up his brand new NX and those two gentlemen have asked me if I can do a video talking about and showing as much as I can of the install of how I, uh, you know, put my Garmin dash cam on the windshield and then dress the cable in the in and around the car so that it's out of sight and I have a nice clean installation. So what I've actually done is I've taken my uh, dash cam, Garmin dash cam 67 out of my GX. I've actually ripped the whole cable out so that we could redo it together. And in the process, you guys, I took one for the team. I um, pulled this a little bit too quickly <laughs> when I was taking it out. And I actually kind of sliced through right there totally killed this cable. Um, so it took one for the team, for you guys, but luckily we have so many of these Garmin dash cams um, and have had so many of these dash cams that I have an extra cable that we can use that I can put back in this car. So that's what we're gonna do. Oh, and real quickly, before we get into the car and get started on the install, you are gonna wanna have uh, with you to start this, um, what's called a trim removal tool. And it looks kind of like this. Uh, you can get sets of these in different sizes on Amazon for like 10 bucks. So um, really affordable, but you're going to want to have this because there are going to be certain parts in this car as well as many others where you're going to want to be able to kind of get in between some of the pieces of trim in the car and very gently pull them back. And that's what these are great for. Um, some of these come in sets with um, metal ones as well. And you're going to want to avoid the metal ones because we don't want to uh, inadvertently scratch or slice or, you know, do anything to damage the trim, especially if you have, like Tommy and Eric, a brand new car. So make sure you have one of these. Uh, let's go ahead and get started. All right, guys, so here we are inside the car. There is the dash cam. You can see the cord is kind of just hanging out down here for the moment. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to just uh, take the cord and push it up into, sorry, I know, awkward angle. Uh, I'm going to push it up into the headliner here so it's running this way. And that is sort of facing toward the A pillar. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna keep it in the headliner, but we're gonna bring it into this seam uh, right here. And then it's gonna come down through the little rubber strip that is on the inside of the uh, door sill here in the car. So I don't know if I'm gonna be able to film me doing that, but uh, let me at least get the headliner part in and then we will go from there. Okay, so I actually have figured out a way to prop you up on my dashboard so that you can kind of see what's going on up here. I'm going to take my trim removal tool and just kind of start to, um, again, just kind of nudge the cable very gently in here. I'm not trying to dislodge anything um, here. I just want the cable to get tucked in, and I'm trying to push this far enough in so that the it's not like super close to the glass which is going to get to you know be millions of degrees uh during the summertime and again this is not i am not a professional <laughs> car wiring person um because obviously i would not be able to make a living but okay there you can see we have for the most part uh gotten our cable up here and then here if you can kind of see up here um, I'm going to pull back this piece. So can you see what I'm doing? I've got my uh, trim removal tool in the seam between the headliner and the uh, kind of this, like Lexus has this beautiful headliner, kind of cashmere-like material that goes down the A-pillar. I'm going to pull the piece of interior trim here on the A-pillar back. I'm not going to pull it off. I'm just going to pull it back enough so I can kind of nudge the and push the cable inside of there and you want to be careful not to push the cable itself because obviously we don't want to damage any of that but can you kind of see how i've got it tucked in there now so i got it tucked in just enough um so that part of it is inside and i'm going to very gently it'll kind of just pop in there by itself so you can see now that we're not seeing the cable poking out over here which is exactly what we want um and then I'm just going to continue to kind of press it into this little body panel there. Okay, so here is where the 
cable has ended up. We have dressed it all the way in the headliner from where the dash cam is. It's running up here in the headliner. It's come around the A pillar like that. And now, let me see if I can pull this back and show you. So what we want is to, this, well, we, what we want is for it to focus first. But what we're gonna do is slip this inside, so kind of past that corner there, so that it's not getting pinched by the edge right here. So let me go ahead and do that, and then I will show you what I'm talking about. Okay, so I slipped it past that corner, and now you can see it is uh, nice and comfortably seated inside that little gasket area. I know it's dark, I apologize. Again, um, but you can see now it's sitting in there, and we're just gonna run it down now. We're gonna push it in with our fingers and then run it down um, the A pillar. So we're gonna run it, actually maybe this is a, can you see this? So I'm just actually gonna do this with my finger. And it's, as I do that, it's pushing the cable, you know, inside this gasket. And so you can see now that it's not visible from anywhere inside. It's coming through here, running down here, and essentially we're just gonna take this all the way down to the uh, power adapter, and I've got the OBD2 Garmin adapter down here. Pardon the uh, disgusting floor mats. <laughs> it's winter, it's been gross. Um, but anyway, the USB is gonna plug into here, and then we're gonna tuck all of this up into this panel here. So let's go ahead and keep moving on down this way. We're gonna run our fingers down here. And then here, I'm gonna have to peel this back just a bit so I can get this to sit again, the core to sit inside of this rubber piece. All right guys, so what I have done is ever so gently pulled back this plastic vent piece here, which is part of the larger dash pad of the car um, so that I could tuck the cable in there. And what I'm now gonna do is just again, ever so gently, nudge the, or continue to nudge the cable into the uh, rubber trim on the door sill of the car, and then kind of route it down again toward the OBD2 port down there, which will provide power. You can see we've still got a, a good deal of cable left. Um, so I don't think I'm gonna be able to film this because I'm gonna be right up in here working, but I will show you the product when it is uh, the final result, when it's done. Okay, I take that back. I can actually kind of show you this. So again, what I'm gonna, what I'm doing here is just very gently nudging the cable into this uh, seam here. As you can see, um, we put the rubber trim exactly where it was back behind that piece. And what I'm doing with the cable is I'm not like shoving at it or kind of like, um, I'm not being real aggressive or assertive with it. What I'm doing is actually taking it at an angle and kind of coaxing it into this seam. I'm not being very aggressive or, you know, putting a lot of pressure on it because I don't want to accidentally damage the cable in any way. And we're just going to kind of continue to coax it in as we go down. Okay, guys, so what we've done here is I have coaxed the cable into that little seam there. And so now it is sticking out down here at the bottom. And by the way, you guys have all have asked, a number of you have asked um, how I can really tell. And I think some of you were trying to call my BS, but you know, asking about how can I tell that the new Toyota cars have cheap and thin and flimsy and junky plastics? Cause I complain about that quite a bit in my videos. And this is one way I can tell because getting the cable dressed kind of from where we started up there all the way down through the A pillar and then especially into this dashboard piece here. These plastics are thick and they are heavy and they do not move and they do not give. And that's one reason why like GXs and Forerunners have no squeaks and no rattles because this plastics or these plastics, they are like the old, old, old school Rubbermaid containers. Like these are the kind of plastics that will survive the apocalypse. You can tell when you're doing this kind of thing, uh, what is a really thick and durable piece of plastic and what is not in cars today. So what we've got here is the cable um, down at the bottom. And from here on in, it's actually quite easy because what I'm gonna do is hook the uh, USB port on the cable up to the OBD2 adapter. And then we're essentially just gonna, again, shove it into that little cubby down there and we will be good to go. And then later on, I'll just come back through here with a zip tie to um, make sure that all the cable stays in a neat little bundle. 
All right, guys, so we are done. The cable is, I know you can't see it, and that's kind of the point, but the cable comes, it runs through here, and then it tucks into the cubby here. You can kind of see my finger has disappeared the end of it into or behind this um, trim piece here. And the cable is sitting nicely right in there, tucked up away with the OBD2 adapter, which is somewhere, <laughs> oh, it's the OBD2 adapter is right here in my OBD2 port, and we are done. That is the install. It's fully dressed all up and around the uh, the cowl of the windshield, down the A-pillar, and into the OBD2 port. All right, well, that is the install. Um, I don't think it was too hard. It's, uh, it's pretty simple, kind of once you get in there and you figure out, you know, what your path is and you get comfortable kind of just pulling back the pieces of trim that you may need to. Again, make sure you have one of these before you get started. Um, but yeah, that is about it. You guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope this was helpful. I hope this, um, I hope it showed you enough detail and enough of the process where you can, you know, kind of figure out how to do this within your car with what makes sense, whatever. Um, thank you guys so, so much for watching as always. Um, if you have any further questions, leave them down in the comments below, or you can always email me at the email here on screen. I love hearing from you guys. And so many of my videos start out because of, or start with emails that I get from all of you. Oh, and by the way, stay tuned next week because that is when the, uh, PPF install video on the Camry goes live. I had so much fun shooting that with the team over at Authentic Details. Um, it is one of, it's probably one of my favorite videos that I've ever done here on the channel. And uh, they gave us a true all access pass behind the scenes to see how it's all done. So stay tuned for that. Um, thank you guys so, so much for watching. I will see you next time. Have a great one and take care.